Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best wood lathes in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 11. Laguna Tools Mlarivo 1836 Revo Lathe We are down to the last three recommendations, and it is time to introduce the most expensive and most potent full-size wood lathe on this list. The Mlarivo 1836 from Laguna Tools is a top-notch product that we recommend to experts and professionals who have a lavish budget. Spending close to 3000 bucks on a wood lathe is not a matter of joke. But if you are willing to spend that much, we can assure you that 1836 from Laguna is your best bet. It features a powerful 2 HP, 220 volt electric motor. With a swing capacity of 32 inches and a 41.5 inch distance between centers, you will not have to worry about any extensions even for large projects. Also, you can choose from two speed ranges, 50 to 1300 RPM or 135 to 3500 RPM. Number 10. Grizzly Industrial H8259 Benchtop Wood Lathe The Grizzly Industrial H8259 Benchtop Wood Lathe is the last wood lathe on our list to review for you. This machine is fairly lightweight at just 77 pounds, and it can deliver speeds between 826 and 3337 RPM. You have 18 inches between centers to fit your wood and a 10-inch swing. This wood lathe from Mophorn features top-notch build, which ensures long-lasting performance. It comes packed with a powerful 550W motor with variable speeds and digital readings to give you an unparalleled woodturning experience. Its speed ranges from 500 to 3800 RPM. The Grizzly Industrial downside is that there is not enough horsepower to run without continuously bogging down. This model also gets extremely hot in just a few minutes even when using it at moderate RPM, and you have to adjust the belts to change speeds, which is easy enough but gets tedious if you must change it several times. Number 9. PSI Woodworking Turncrafter Commander MIDI Lathe The PSI Woodworking KWL 1018 VS Turncrafter Commander MIDI Lathe uses a three-quarter horsepower motor to deliver 500 to 3600 RPMs. It features a wide 18 inches between centers, and a 10-inch swing allows plenty of room for most small projects. The included work light helps illuminate your work area even in low light conditions, and the cast iron base provides a durable platform to work on while remaining lightweight at only 82 pounds. Like many other models on this list with little horsepower, the PSI Woodworking KWL 1018 VS tends to bog down on all but the smallest jobs. There are no instructions included with the purchase, so it is not the tool for the inexperienced user, and there is no reverse switch which is provided on many other models. While we liked the idea of the work light, but the shade was too small, and most bulbs stick out, causing glare instead of improving visibility. The shade also collects sawdust, which can lead to a fire hazard. Number 8. Mophorn 10 by 18 inch wood lathe The Mophorn 10 by 18 inch wood lathe is an 81 pound machine that can deliver between 760 and 3200 RPM. It gives you 18 inches between the centers with a 10 inch swing, well suited to creating chair legs and other similar projects. It features 6 inch tool rests for working the wood and the durable cast iron construction will last many years. The problem with the Mophorn is that it's very underpowered. They don't list the horsepower on the package, but we can tell you it bogged down continuously, and we would put it on par with other models that feature an engine under 1 horsepower. There were also no instructions to help you get started if you are new to using a woodworking lathe. Number 7. Ricken 70 to 100 Mini Lathe The Ricken 70 to 100 Mini Lathe uses a 1 half HP motor to deliver between 430 and 3900 RPMs through an easy access speed change system. There are 16 inches between centers and it has a 12-inch swing, which should be enough room for all your small projects, including bowl cutting. The self-ejecting tailstock can save time and reduce frustration when you need to remove a center. It's not too heavy at close to 90 pounds, and you can expand the bed for larger projects. We felt that the 1 half HP motor in the Ricken didn't have much power, and it bogs down no matter how gentle you are. The speed-changing system isn't hard, 
but it does get tedious if you find yourself on a project that requires frequent speed changes. There is also a protective cover that's loose even though the bolts are tight. Number 6. Nova 71118 Comet 2 Drive MIDI Lathe The Nova 71118 Comet 2 Drive MIDI Lathe uses a 3 quarters HP motor to deliver speeds between 250 and 4000 RPM. You can tell exactly how fast the wood is turning by checking the convenient digital readout. 16.5 inches between centers and a 12 inch swing is plenty of room for most small projects, and a forward reverse switch allows you to use the machine as needed for different projects. The 6 inch tool rest is completely adjustable and is an adequate size, and the machine is fairly lightweight at 82 pounds. The problem we had with the Nova 71118 was that it continuously bogged down with even the slightest pressure, and our digital readout burned out a few months after we got it. Number 5. Delta Industrial 46 to 460 Variable Speed MIDI Lathe The Delta Industrial 46 to 460 Variable Speed MIDI Lathe features a 1 HP motor that can deliver up to 1725 RPM that you can adjust using the variable speed controller down to 700 RPM. Different pulleys change the range of RPMs, and the 12 and a half inch swing is perfect for smaller projects. It weighs about 100 pods and features a patented belt tensioning system for making quick adjustments. What we didn't like about the Delta Industrial 46 to 460 was that the bed wasn't completely smooth and made it hard to use the tools in certain areas. It vibrates quite a bit at higher RPMs, and they installed the forward and reverse switches backward. We checked the internet to see if we were the only ones with a backward switch, but apparently, everyone does. Number 4. Shop Fox W1704 Benchtop Lathe The Shop Fox W1704 Benchtop Lathe features a 12-inch workspace for working on small projects. It has two tool rests for various turning applications. The 1.3 HP engine creates up to 3200 RPM, and the speed is variable. Its cast iron construction is durable, yet the entire machine weighs only 52 pounds. While we were using the Shop Fox W1704 we felt it was not very powerful, and it would often bog down even when working on small projects, and the knobs would often work themselves loose from the vibrations. It provides 12 inches between centers and an 8-inch swing. Number 3. Powermatic 3520B Wood Lathe The Powermatic 1352001 3520B Wood Lathe is our pick for the premium choice wood lathe. It uses a powerful 6.2 amp 2 HP motor to create up to 3200 RPM. It includes two interchangeable pulleys that you can switch to adjust the RPMs. One pulley operates between 50 and 1200 RPM and the other between 125 and 3200 RPM. It's made of heavy-duty cast iron and provides you with a large 20x 35-inch work area. A digital RPM meter is easy to read, and it includes several accessories, including a guard, tool rest, faceplate, wrench, knockout rod, and spindle lock. The Powermatic 1352001 is extremely powerful and never bogs down. You can complete a wide range of projects in the large workspace, and the only thing we can complain about is its extreme 682 pound weight, which makes for a challenging assembly. It provides 35 inches between centers and a 20 inch swing. Number 2. WEN Variable Speed Benchtop Wood Lathe The WEN 3421 Variable Speed Mini Benchtop Wood Lathe is our pick for the best wood lathe for the money. The work area is 12 inches long and 8 inches wide and is perfect for smaller projects like pens, cups, bowls, and more. The 3.2 amp motor will turn the wood between 750 and 3200 RPMs. The 2.3 inch faceplate, MT1 spindle, and tailstock taper are all durably built, and despite being mostly cast iron, it only weighs 44.9 pounds. The downside to the WEN 3421, especially when compared to our top choice, is that the RPMs are a little slower, and there's less variable range in RPMs. We also found that it bogged down easily, so you need to be mindful of your application pressure. It provides 12 inches between centers and an 8-inch swing. Number 1. Jet JWL 1221 VS Variable Speed Wood Lathe The Jet JWL 1221 VS Variable Speed Wood Lathe is our pick for the best overall wood lathe. 
It features a powerful motor that can deliver between 60 and 3,600 revolutions per minute, adjustable via a control knob, which should be more than enough for most projects. The lathe smoothly switches between forward and reverse at the flip of a switch. The spring-loaded spindle lock makes it easy to change with projects, and belt tension is easy to adjust with the unique ratchet-style belt tensioning system. The first thing we noticed while installing the 1221 VS is its weight, at 120 pounds, it is one of the most massive benchtop lathes out there. Thankfully, our bench is very sturdy and could easily withstand it, but you might want to look into that before getting this machine. What helps this lathe be a notch above its peers is its exceptional variable speed range. You can select a speed as low as 60 RPM and as high as 3600 RPM, which is something you will not see with any other recommendation of ours. We enjoyed the smooth operation, especially in high RPMs afforded by the Jet JWL 1221VS, and we could only complain that it's a little heavy at 136 pounds, and the motor sits under the headstock, which causes it to collect a lot of shavings and dust. It provides 21 inches between centers and a 12-inch swing.